Hey YouTube, it's Mike with Oz Reptiles. So, I uh, wanted to show off my new boa and blood python rack. I don't know if you can see how big that bad boy is. It's a vision rack, it's seven tubs. To give you an idea, if you remember my um, big female blood, that's her in there. You can see how much room she has now. She's a ton of space. She's about a nine, maybe ten pound snake. Right. And then the only other snake I have in here right now is this girl. And this is my big cow albino female. She is the stripe down her tail. And I'm hoping that I can get my male big enough to breed her this year. And uh, my male is an albino leopard, cal albino leopard, so I'd make everything would be albino 100% leopards. So that'd be pretty cool. You can see how much space they have in the new tub. Alright. And again, there's that new uh, Vision Boa rack. There is everything else. Alright, um, the next two snakes that will move into this big rack are my leopard boa female. There she is. She'll probably spend another couple months in the V70 before she moves up. And my... Oh, he's hiding in, in the back here. There she is. I always call it a he. My Woma python female. I don't know why I always call him a he, but it's a she. And again, so the Woma and the Leopard will be the next two snakes that move into the big rack. Um, probably enough, a couple, I don't know, maybe three to three to six more months they probably have still though. And then this girl who's in shed, my Matrix Blood Python female, she just got moved up to the V70, but she will then uh, also be the next animal to move into the big boa and blood rack. All right. Um, while I'm in here showing things off, breeding season, you can see it's going well. All the females that are in blue have all, uh, the males that they've locked up with are in black. The females that, uh, the females are in blue. So that's, you can see how many females and males have gone already. And again, like I've mentioned in the past, um, my goal is to put a lot of my bigger females. I started now at the end of September, early October. And then a lot of the, the smaller females that are right around 1,500 grams, uh, I'm waiting until, you know, December, January to start breeding them. Hoping that I get eggs kind of in that order as well so my incubator doesn't get overloaded. But uh, definitely looks like a good season coming. Um, you can see that GHI boy is doing some work. Um, where I'm thinking going in my future is a lot of GHI stuff, clown stuff. Um, and eventually I want to throw some pied into the GHI and clown stuff. And then again, I do have some yellow belly projects that I'm working on. But that's where I think my ball python future is going to be. Um, here again. Only a few animals left, but I do think I'm going to do the Leesburg, Virginia reptile show in December. And the Frederick, Maryland uh, reptile show in January. Uh, those will probably be my next two shows. And then I probably won't do any more shows until next season when I have more babies. Because I am running low on babies. And the last thing I want to say is if you do follow me, you'll see I've been changing my name to Osmond Reptiles from Osmond Reptile Removal. Um, but I've been changing it to Osmond Reptiles on all my social media and all my things like that. And I have finished, or just about finished, my, um, my website. So please check it out, osmondreptiles.com. My new website has everything that I have for sale up there. Uh, and again, yeah, it's going well. And I will end showing off. Uh, who should I show off? This girl. This was my proud and joy of 20, of uh, two seasons ago. That's my um, pastel lesser yellow belly. And she is just about 1,500 grams, and she will be going to my Spark B this season. So I have a chance to hit on some pretty cool. Puma combos there. Alright, Oz Reptiles out.